Hello, welcome to Big Kaiser's presentation on Spironi's SPI software. My name is Jim Mayer, and I'm gonna take you on a quick journey through the software itself, what the benefits are of the SPI software, and then we'll take a look at a quick demo by Pat and Nick Chu. As a machine shop owner, supervisor, or manager, you've realized that one of the easiest ways to save time and therefore money in your manufacturing process is to reduce your setup time. You know that if you have one hour per shift that is spent setting tools in a shop that has 10 machines running two shifts with a shop rate of $50 per hour, that costs the shop $260,000 every year just in setup time. With an investment of 10% of that cost, you can save up to 30% or more in your setup time. That's spending $26,000 once to save $86,000 per year. That presetter allows you to set your tools while your machine is still running. So you make the investment in a presetter. Now that you have your presetter saving you money, you're on a roll. You want to keep saving money. You understand the connectivity of Industry 4.0. But how do you get that data from the presetter to your machine tool? You could manually enter it into the control, which is time consuming, and you run the risk of fat fingering or mistyping your data. You can use a keyboard emulator, but you must select each field and save the data each time. You could use a USB flash drive, which is a security risk just waiting to happen. You could always laser etch a dot matrix code onto your tool holder. Or what about RFID? It's a great solution, but it can be costly and take a lot of time to implement. Speroni has developed a way to get the data from your presetter to your machine tool nearly instantly using a barcode software and proprietary scanner all in one package called SPI. SPI stands for Simple Post Interface, and it is exactly that, simple. You can easily transfer measured offset data from the tool presetter to the machine tool control. This single device can post offsets to all your machine tools and is easily configurable to meet your workflow requirements. It is currently available for machine tool controls such as Fanuc, Heidenhain, Siemens, Mitsubishi, and Akuma, with many more coming. I'm now going to turn this over to Pat Craddy and Nick Chu. Pat is going to demonstrate how easily you can measure your tools and print the labels on an autofocus manual Futura 44, and then Nick will show you how quick and easy the transfer of the data to the Akuma in the Big Kaiser showroom can be. Take it away, guys. Hi, my name is Pat Craddy. I'm the technical sales specialist here in the TMS presetter department at Big Kaiser. And today we're going to show you how the SPI data transfer system works. Uh, from measuring tools on the presetter and then sending them out to a machine center control. The main idea with SPI is to send an offset instantaneously into the control instead of the operator reading off of a label like they typically would with a presetter and hand typing them in. Saves them on issues like fat fingering. So let's take a couple tools, measure them, print some labels, and do the transfer. So I'm going to select a job here in the database and I'll select the tool associated with that job in this case this is tool 51 so we have it set now there are a couple other ways we could have this configured we could enter the tool numbers in manually or we could have everything set with barcodes in this, inside the machine in this case we have it all set from the database inside the Speroni so I'm me currently measuring my drill I'm going to save that data and then I'm going to print the label using our SPI function. So, the label printer spits out a label. See on the label we have tool number, tool number 51, the length, and the little QR code that's going to transfer our offsets. Peel that off. Stick it to one of our fancy label tags. Clip it on. Now I'll grab tool 52 here and rinse repeat. Once 
once again, save the measurement, print the label via SPI, and apply the tag. take our tool cart, head on over to the Okuma. All right, uh, my name is Nick Ju. I'm the research and development engineer here at Big Kaiser, and now I'm going to actually load these tools into the machine. So as you can see, we have the cart brought over here. Um, Pat preset them for me, and now I'm going to take these tools and load them into the machine and load the tool offsets. So we have, here's tool 51 as preset before by Pat, and you can see on the, the Okuma screen, we have a tool 51 that has both offsets zeroed out. Um, so now as once I scan it, here's a barcode scanner that we have. It's our SBI scanner. Um, pretty much what it has on the screen is just the scan the data matrix code. And so I'm gonna go ahead and scan that, get a beep. And in a couple seconds, you actually see pretty much instantaneously, the tool offsets have been loaded into cutter 51. So and that matches actually what's on the label. So then I would take this tool and load it straight into the machine and I'm good to go with that tool. Do the same with tool 52. Go ahead and highlight 52 so you can see the offsets loaded in. I'm gonna scan the tool, and right away, there it goes. The offsets are right in, matches what the label has. And now I can use those tools directly in the machine, and we're good to go and run the machine. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Pat. It's amazing how easy this software is to use. I've got five questions that we get very commonly asked about the SPI software. How do the offsets actually get into my machine control? The answer is it's actually part of our secret sauce, so can't tell you all of it. But what I can tell you is that we've extensively mapped the process between the, F uh, the SPI software and the machine tool controls to ensure that the process is actual. Do I need an SPI reader for each of my machines? And the answer is no. You can have one reader for multiple machines. You can even print labels to stick onto your machine, tool, uh, your machine tools to scan prior to scanning your cutting tools. Do I need to buy a new presetter to get this option? No, you can use your ex uh, existing uh, presetters, the Essentia Simple Vision, Edge and Edge Pro softwares are all compatible with the SPI so uh, software. Do I have to use a barcode scanner to transfer the data? And the answer to that is no, but it is the easiest and most convenient way to transfer data from your presetter to your SPI uh, or to your machine to tool control. I have an Akuma that has the original control that was bought in 1995. Will SPI work with those controls of any age? And again, the answer is no. Uh, it doesn't work on older controls, but it is on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, depending on the type of machine, tool control, and the type of machine. If you have existing uh, machines that are older, please reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to help you out with any of those issues. Once again, my name's Jim Mayer, presenting the SPI software from Speroni for Big Kaiser. Thanks, have a great day.